Animated props typically consist of three parts, a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning would be a static image of the prop before any animation starts. The middle would consist of the actual animation of the prop, and the end would be another static image of the prop after it's returned to a dormant or non-animated state. Sometimes the end and beginning are the same, so then you would only need a beginning static image and then the animation in the middle. There are many exceptions to this, but as a general rule, you could look at it in this fashion. That you have an image of a prop before it starts to animate, the actual animation of the prop, the middle, and an end after the prop's done animating. In this example, I will show how to create a very simple animated prop of a pinwheel. It's going to have a beginning, which is a static image of the pinwheel not rotating. That's something that uh, an actor could carry around or it could be sitting someplace while it's not rotating. And then it will have a middle where it's actually rotating, the animation part. There's no end needed in this case because the beginning is the same as the end. It will return back to its static state, which is what we'll have at the beginning image. The first step is to, of course, create our animated object, which is the pinwheel. We'll start a new drawing. I'll just choose letter size. And we have to pick a shape. Typically, you want that symmetrical since this is a rotating object. I'll go over here to the quick objects and pick a quick cog. And then we'll create a cog. Now, for rotating objects, you always want them to be the exact same height and width so that when they rotate they won't seem wobbly. We can also here make the center smaller like so and we can add different number of points to it and I'm going to choose eight points. Now if we only had four points when we animated this we'd have to make the animations we'll rotate this and when we do we'll have to rotate it from this current position which call it zero degrees all the way over 90 degrees to this position and that would be a symmetrical ending to our our rotation of course the more points you have the less you have to rotate it so now with eight points I only have to rotate this top piece of the cog 45 degrees to here before it became symmetrical. Now let's make the, the lines a little bit uh, thicker here. We'll go five point on that. Uh, we'll pick a color. Let's say we'll make blue lines and the fill will make yellow. Here we go. So now we have our pinwheel, but we still need a handle. So we'll pick the straight line tool and we'll come up here and we'll make our handle for the pinwheel. Now let's make that black. Let's change the colors here. And if you notice it's still behind, it's still it's in front of this so we need to make it behind. So we come up, right click on it, and we do order objects, send it to back. So now it's in the back. Okay course if I make it black. There we go. So there's our pinwheel. So what we want to do now is take and copy this. So I'll select all the objects. I'll just do a control C or you can right click and do a copy. And then we will create a keyframe animation. Uh, pick a custom page setup. Um, what I'll do on this one is do a uh, we'll see. 600 by 800 is a good size. There it is. And then we will right click and say paste. And here's our pinwheel. And we'll move that into our area there. So there we have our pinwheel. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now the first thing you want to do here is you want to create the beginning of the pinwheel. This is the way the pinwheel is going to look before it starts rotating. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to file export that as a flash file. It's going to be a single frame, so it's going to be a static image. So I'll call this uh, pinwheel. 
and we'll export that. So now we have our static image that the actor can carry around or it can be sitting on the ground or whatever we want to do with it. Next we're going to want to rotate our pinwheel so that it will simulate movement. What I'm going to do is take and rotate this counterclockwise until it goes to a symmetrical position again. What that means is I'm going to take and rotate it from there until it gets back to there. Because once you get to that point, it repeats itself because it's symmetrical. So to do that, what we want to do is first insert a new keyframe. We'll come down and hit insert. I want to change this to 0 0.1 seconds. 100 milliseconds. We insert a new frame and that frame copies a previous frame so you have an exact duplicate of that. And then we can click on this object. We can either manually rotate it or go up to the arrange rotate object and do custom. And we're going to say 9 degrees. So it rotates 9 degrees. We want to insert another keyframe same time of 100 milliseconds. It makes another copy of the previous frame. Select this. We will rotate it again at 9 degrees. Okay, and we keep doing this until it gets back to where we started. Okay, I think we need one more. Okay, so now if we go back to the beginning, we start there. It rotates, 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 rotates. Now if you think you need to add one more at the end to get it back where it started, you got to remember that this is going to loop around back to the very first frame, which is where you started from, which is exactly where you end up. So now that's a very symmetrical. Now we can check this by running this, and there you can see our pinwheel rotating. Now that we have our animation down, we need to export that. We'll export it as a flash, and we'll call it Pinwheel Annie. I'll overwrite the one I had before. And that's how we generate our animated prop so far. Now that we've created our animated prop, we need to import it into Crazy Talk. So here we are in Crazy Talk Animator. We will click on Import Media. We're going to click on Props. We'll browse to our image. We'll pick that. And there's our static image. Next we want to go to the Prop Composer. And here we are in the Prop Composer. We select the Prop, we select the Sprite Editor, and we see we have our static image and an empty image. So what we want to do is click on Insert, Browse to our animation, and insert that. So now we have several options for the Sprite. We have the static image and we have the animated image. We can return to our stage. Yes, we want to update the Composer object. And here it is. Now the next thing you probably want to do is take this and save it to your props collection so that you can call it back at any time you want. So I'll just add that in. We'll call that the pinwheel. And now it's in our collection of, pro of props and we can call it up any time we want. Alright, now how to get this to work? Well, what we want to do is first have it sit there statically so we make sure that we're on the static. We'll hit close. We'll uh, start the running. We can stop at any point. Come over here, switch the sprite to the animation. Continue on and now it starts animating. We can stop it again and then switch back to the static as such so it's not moving. So if we go back to the beginning and play the whole thing, it's static. We switch the sprite, it starts animating. We switch the sprite again and it stops. And that's your animated prop. Here's an example of the animated pinwheel in action. I have Cherry here holding the pinwheel. The sprite is set to the static at the moment. So I'm going to have her walk across the stage for a little bit. 
and then I'm going to switch the sprite to the animated portion to have it start rotating as you can see there and then when she gets to the other side of the stage as she stops the pinwheel is going to stop spinning shortly after she do she stops like that and in real time here's what it looks like one more time she walks along pinwheels not spinning change it to the animation it starts spinning she stops walking and then the pinwheel switched to the static and it stops that's an animated pinwheel in action.